What is going on guys? My name is Rama back again from Rowan Reviews here and it's been a quite some time since I've made a video. In fact, it's about two weeks and there's a big reason why. If you guys haven't seen, I actually posted on the community tab on YouTube or if you guys don't follow me on you on Twitter. Um, my grandfather had passed away and uh, I think about two or three months ago, I actually left to visit him uh, and I knew that was going to probably be the most likely going to be the last time I visited him. He had been uh, um, unfortunately been hurting from a disease and a bunch of other things that, that was basically going wrong with him. He got admitted in a hospice on, uh, on a Thursday, I think two weeks ago, and in less than eight hours, he died. So we went out there. Um, we had his funeral. Uh, pff, God damn, that was, an <laughs> that was an emotional wreck on that one, too. Because the funeral happened to be a military-style funeral. And if you've ever been to one of those, it's it's it's, it's quite a something. But that is that. And I do apologize for being gone for so long. But I wanted some time to myself. And it's time to go out there and spend time with uh, another side of family. So I do apologize for being late for these reactions. But... Unfortunately, or fortunately, family is way more important than anything else. It's more important than my job, more important than everything, basically. And, yeah. But, getting back on topic, we never learn Season 2, Episode 11. X descends like wildfire at the festival's beginning. Now, last episode, we got to wrap up Fumino's little arc. Uh, her first real arc at the time, and I know a lot of people really like her. And I, I, I almost swayed, I almost swayed, but of course I have to have the Sensei. Sensei? Sensei Bible. Or Bibble. Right next to me at all times. It will never leave my sight. Boom. And I know we're going to have a Sensei scene in this episode, so perfectly fine it's either this episode or next episode i'm not entirely sure but yeah i'm gonna be skipping both the opening and ending um because usually i don't skip it for reaction mashup pur uh, purposes but since you know i'm two weeks late i'm gonna go ahead and just skip them uh but yeah i also look and look forward to my flashback friday series it's not gonna be of the movie of uh, bunny girl senpai because i still need to find it <laughs> be kind of busy um but it's gonna be something really unique and i might only be able to do one episode for the time being of this thing um but hopefully i can get to the second episode as well this week we'll see what happens also i am recording this on christmas eve so by the time you guys see this uh, or if you see this immediately on the day i pu uh, publish this but uh maybe you will see something on christmas day from me i'm not entirely sure i will probably i might announce something for flashback fridays but we will see it is it, it's all up in the air who knows but anyways guys Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. I'm ready to go jump into this. So guys, without further ado, let's jump in to episode 11 of Boku Ben Season 2. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. Okay. Also... We really are in the end game. If you if you keep up with the manga, we're end game. We're completely in the end game. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Furuhashi's totally not even buying that. Oh, Vaza. The path of... Oh, wait, they haven't... Never mind, they haven't announced it yet on what he's gonna be doing. By the way, we're endgame. We actually got a girl who got picked. It's, of course, a little sister. No other... <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Also, we also got to see a side of uh, Kirisu that you've never seen before during the last episode. When she's not, you know, inebriated by something. <laughs> this 
speaking of mangas that are going to end soon, quintessential quintuplets. All right, so like I said, we are skipping the opening. Ooh, perfect. Oh, school festival, of course. We are, okay, so this is the scene. This is the episode I'm thinking of. No, not mad scientist. It's kind of funny, like, actual mad scientists don't look what most people just pick them as. It's the fact that they look normal is the scary part. Totally going on a tangent, but yes. Yes. It's Udon. Scrumdily. Scrumdily. Prototype. See, what happened was... If I came across that, I'd be like, hey guys, uh, give me a second. <laughs> give me a couple minutes. I'm gonna eat some Udon. Working in the background. See, we like in in for my non-Western or non-American um um viewers, the we don't really do these at all whatsoever. Like these school festivals, what we primarily do will if it's anything school wide, it's only for the school. We don't really bring outsiders in, and the only time I ever did it was um. <laughs> I don't, I don't, but um and the only that time we did something that was really school wide was during elementary school for me i mean of course there are outliers but i see it for the more public school system jinx If you confess your love. Didn't they didn't they do that in quintessential quintuplets and all five of them? Hmm. Almost positive that's also the same thing. Just a rumor. <laughs> it's a little, a little bit of scheming. <laughs> oh, Takamoto. Oh, Seki. Seki Joe. <laughs> Seki Joe, you get you deserve some cam uh Seki Joe, you deserve some happiness too. A bit of a backwards thinking. Funny thing is, I actually got way more interested in history and all that stuff way outside of school. I'm like, I love history. Like, I've always been a big fan of, like, World War One and Two history, mostly two, but it wasn't until more recently in the last couple of years where I was like, ooh, I want to know about more about the Roman Empire or the destruction and reconstruction of China and its history, like a bunch of things, bunch of things. 
And I mean, also, thankfully, due to uh, Azure Lane, I've been really into um, naval history. By the way, yes, I know I'm going on tangents, but I'm, and I'm bringing up things that don't really pertain to the actual show, but I've always done that. Hmm. I love how she always has her. She always. Uh, you know, actually, if if I were to ever read the manga, I need to see if she's just like that. Like where she always has that. <laughs> there is no escape. Endangered servitude. <laughs> oh man. There she oh, <laughs> she she's doing the fucking <laughs> She's doing the pose. Uh, <laughs> Why are they all full of girls? Bloody hell. Well, it got her to stop doing the, you know, hand on cheek. Best girl. It's still nagging on him. That feel when no middle, no, mid 20s pink haired teacher to talk to back when I was in school. That feel, man. No sister, no. I swear to God, I'm actually surprised that we we need more. We need more of the sister in the series in general. I, I like I love her uh, antics. This is a magical girl. Yep. I I, I so I did see the preview. I think last episode when I last watched this, and we're gonna get uh, Kirisu in a um in a uh, great uh great uh outfit, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Just. It's gonna be perfect. One hundred helpings. I wonder how they set like how they set that aside. Like, do they um? Do they portion it? The udon? I mean, it's all by... It's all, you need to portion the udon. Not the, you don't really care about the broth. Maids? No, there's girls in it too. It is. What is that? A thousand? Respect. How are you that bad with numbers? <laughs> you want to rest me? Hmm. 
You know what? I need to I need to get a button that just says Q and just every time just slap it, slap it. <laughs> Ooh, we're a little bit jazz in here. You like jazz? <laughs> That's why he set up multiple shops. Two fifty? Two and a half bucks for a bowl? That's pretty damn cheap. Who that? Oh. Not bad. I know what's in that box, Sakamoto. I know what's in that box. And all men of culture are waiting for that box to uh, make its appearance. <laughs> Full pure. I forgot how the uh, situation happens. Sorry, I just turned uh, my phone onto silent. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. <laughs> there's so many freaking... There's so many people trying to ship. We got the Furuhashi squad. These peeps. The swim club. And then you have fucking Seki Joe in the background. See, but where are the... <laughs> Very interesting mix. That'd be so embarrassing. But I wonder what her original outfit would have supposed to be. No students. Loophole. Oh, okay. Huh. I approve. Vanish into the wind. <laughs> and the flashback. <laughs> Good question. 
<laughs> I remember. I remember when I saw that. I think I actually saved that original picture. This isn't good for my heart. This isn't good for my heart. Oh, hello. Yeah, mine too. Hmm. And I need help too because something is, uh, these noises, please. You lucky son of a bitch. Yes, but you've done something great for me. This was burned into my life in my eyes for the rest of my life. This one right here. For sweet nothing to do her ear. I've always made that joke. It's like I'm gonna whisper sweet nothing into your ear. Okay, I actually do not really remember this, so... Nothing. It was a good episode. It was a good episode for plenty of reasons. You know exactly which ones they are. And yes, that was good. Okay, so, jumping back to the manga, though. Um, I would turn away if you're not really spoiled. If you haven't been spoiled to the manga, step away now. Because this last chapter was definitely a doozy. Um, so... So, th from here on out, spoilers. So, with the last chapter, we finally got the very first confession. And you all know how the first confession goes. Whoever first, whoever's, in fir whoever's the first one to do it, is the first one to get shot down. Very rarely, I don't think I've ever seen at any time a harem-esque a harem -esque show where the first person who confesses is the one who wins. And especially with all the predicaments going along with the the female in question, which happens to be Takamoto. Takamoto finally has gotten to the point where she uh, she totally admits her feelings to to um um Chad Yuki over here, Naruyuki. 
And I kind of see how I, I'm. it's going to progress. So Naruyuka is going to be like, oh, I don't... Well, she kind of meant it as, like, I love you in a romantic kind of way. But who knows, knowing him, they'll probably be like, oh, yeah, you love me in that kind of way. And she's like, no, 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 I love you in this kind of way. So we'll definitely see how that's going to happen. But another thing that I'm really curious as to see is if she's doing... I mean, she's doing this because she is leaving. Um, she kind of um, allowed herself to... Uh, take the offer to go overseas i think what australia i think it was it was australia or the u.s i forgot which one exactly but i think it was australia um but this is basically her admitting her feelings before she leaves um if you know what i mean so we'll definitely see what happens uh in the next couple chapters and next chapter in all honesty but i kind of feel like i'm leaving i'm gonna go say what's been on my chest this entire time and finally go from there um, but I really do feel like we're endgame, especially with this entirety of the series, uh, in general, because they're, they're done with school. They're done with school. Um, they finished it up, so we're gonna get some wrapping up. Um, I, I honestly think Fumino is probably gonna win. Not too mad. Um, but I really hope they get, we get significant closure. Like, actual closure with these characters. Like, I know Takuma's gonna get a closure. Um, and next is probably going to be Rizu. Who, I mean, and then uh, Asami is going to be hard. I think Asami is just going to be, Asami is going to confess, but laugh it off as a joke. But then she's going to move on and be like, I said my piece. Now I'm going to continue working as what she does, uh, as, as a nurse. Um... How would they handle Sensei? I mean, I don't think. I think nothing's gonna happen, in all honesty. Because Sensei has Sensei has not ever admitted that she had feelings. So, that's probably it. But who knows? Who really knows? At the end of the day, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. But yeah, I'm gonna go like stop talking about this because I still have another episode to do. Uh, but yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode reaction to Boku Ben. It was a great episode. Can't wait to see the next episode. And then uh, we'll be caught up for the last episode on Saturday. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode really shortly. See ya.